Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. In this video, I'll be showing you 10 settings in iOS 16 that you should change to get the most out of your iPhone. So let's go ahead right now and jump in. This first one has to do with the wallpaper on your home screen. So most people on iOS 16 don't even know that you can do this and it's pretty cool. So if you press and hold on your lock screen and then click on customize, you can make whatever changes in here that you want. But as soon as you click on done at the top right, you're gonna see a button here at the bottom that says customize home screen. So if you click on this, you'll notice there's a button at the bottom right that says blur. And if you click on this, as you can see, it adds a really nice blur to your home screen wallpaper. Now I do this on a few of my wallpapers that are kind of busy that have a lot going on, especially if I'm using one of my own images as a wallpaper. Sometimes the uh, wallpaper behind all of your apps and widgets uh, can get a little bit too cluttered. So adding a nice blur to your home screen wallpaper is definitely a nice way to make your iPhone look a little bit more clean. So next up, this one has to do with focus modes and assigning a certain lock screen to a focus mode. So focus modes are very useful and I use them pretty much every single day, especially when I'm at the gym. And new in iOS 16 is you can actually have your iPhone change your lock screen depending on what focus mode you're in. So you may wanna have a different wallpaper when you're at the office compared to when you're at home. For me personally, I like to have a different wallpaper for when I'm at the gym. So as you can see here, if I press and hold on my wallpaper, I'm able to choose a different lock screen. And if I click the button at the bottom of the wallpaper, I'm able to link that wallpaper to a focus mode. So if I go back to this one and I enter my fitness focus, as you can see, as soon as I enter fitness, it's gonna change my wallpaper to this emoji one. So this is just another way to help you find your focus a little bit better and changing your wallpaper along with your focus mode is definitely a nice change in iOS 16. So moving right along, this next one also has to do with focus modes. And this is another new feature in iOS 16. This is called focus filters. So focus filters allows you to change what content you're able to see on your iPhone, depending on what focus mode you're in. So what does this mean? So say for example, you are in a work focus and you only wanna see emails that are based on your work. So you would choose a mail filter and then you would choose your work inbox. And that way, when you're in your work focus, as soon as you open the mail app, you're only going to see emails that are from your work mailbox. Now, of course, your iPhone is still going to receive emails from all of your other inboxes, but when you are in that focus mode, you won't be able to see them. And you can also set up filters for other apps as well, such as messages, you can filter by people, by calendar, you can filter by calendar events, and also by Safari tab groups. So I would definitely recommend setting up some focus filters for yourself as it can be very useful for a lot of people. So this next setting is for notifications and how they appear on the lock screen. So by default in iOS 16, all of your notifications are going to come out of the bottom of your lock screen. And if you get any more notifications, they are going to stack on top of each other at the bottom right here. Now there actually is a way to have a much cleaner look in iOS 16. So if you go into settings and then click on notifications, as you can see here, by default, it is set to stack, but you can actually choose count. Now it's not going to work on my iPhone just because this is an old notification and I only have one, but I have an image here online of what it looks like. And as you can see, it is a lot cleaner. So instead of all of your notifications stacking on top of one another, your iPhone is simply gonna tell you how many you have. So this next setting has to do with mail and a new feature inside the mail app in iOS 16 is the ability to undo a sent email. So if I send myself a test email, as you can see here, new in iOS 16, as soon as you send an email, there's a button at the bottom of the app that allows you to undo that sent email. And by default, this is set up for a 10 second delay. So after you send the email, it's going to wait 10 seconds and then the iPhone will officially send that email but you can actually change the duration of that undo send button at the bottom. So if I jump here into mail settings and then scroll all the way down, you can see we have an option called undo send delay. Now by default, like I said, it's set to 10 seconds, but you're able to change it to 20 or 30 seconds if you want. So for this next setting, I'm gonna show you, I had to switch to a different iPhone just because my iPhone 13 mini I was using doesn't support this feature, unfortunately. But if you jump into settings and then click on battery, there's a new option in iOS 16 that allows you to show your battery percentage in the status bar. So if I turn this on, as you can see, I'm now 
able to see my battery percentage without going into control center. So this is a highly requested feature and I think so many people that upgrade to iOS 16 are going to use this. Just keep in mind, it doesn't work on a few iPhones. So if you have an iPhone 10R, an iPhone 11, an iPhone 12 mini or a 13 mini, you won't be able to see your battery percentage, but it will work on all other iPhones. So this next setting may possibly be my favorite of the entire video. If you go into sounds and haptics and then choose keyboard feedback, the keyboard in iOS 16 now supports haptic feedback. So this is a highly requested feature. So many people were asking Apple for this for so many years. It's kind of hard to demonstrate on video because it's kind of based on feel for when you're holding your phone and typing, but you can take my word for it that haptic feedback on the keyboard in iOS 16 does feel fantastic and it makes typing feel a lot better. So I would definitely recommend turning on haptic feedback for the keyboard and get a much more enjoyable typing experience. So this next setting has to do with spotlight search on your home screen. And in iOS 15, the only way to access Spotlight was to swipe down like this, and then you could search for anything on your phone. But there actually is a better way here in iOS 16. It may already be enabled on your iPhone by default, but if it's not, you want to go into settings and then click on home screen and make sure that search is turned on for the home screen. And when you turn this on, you'll now have a search button at the bottom of your home screen, and you can access Spotlight with just a tap instead of swiping. So moving on to number nine, I really like this next one. Inside of weather, if you go to an overview of all of your cities and then click on the menu button at the top right, you're able to click on notifications. And this is new in iOS 16. So Apple recently purchased an application that was previously for Android phones called Dark Sky. And Dark Sky was known for having some of the best weather data available. Now that Apple owns this company, we're able to get some severe weather alerts and also next hour precipitation alerts. So if you turn on these toggles, the weather app on your iPhone is going to alert you for any upcoming weather events. So these are some very useful settings to turn on. So the final setting I'm gonna show you is inside of mail settings right here. And you wanna click on privacy protection and make sure that protect mail activity is turned on. So sometimes emails have malicious contents inside of them and they're able to see information such as how many times you have opened the email and even if you have forwarded the email to somebody else. That really isn't anybody's business but your own. So I would definitely recommend turning on protect mail activity and this will also hide your IP address from the sender as well. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative and helpful, please drop a like on it. Also comment down below telling us what you thought. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you in the next one.